So apparently it was the blue blood sprites that were all screwed up, but after a small patch, they've all been fixed. Though of course you could argue that blue blood was always screwed up, but anyway. Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Bony, welcoming you back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0. One thing I forgot about last time is that whenever the end of the uh, the World of Ruin occurred, we all characters were unequipped, including one of the uh, Pinky clones from earlier in the game. So, as a result, we have a random Iron Claw and Padded Splint in our inventory, which is, well, we can sell them, I suppose. Also, I have five thick splints for some reason. I don't know where I got that extra one from, but I guess I've had it for a while now, apparently. Anyway. While we're here by herself, uh, things aren't quite as dangerous as you might think, because Cadence actually has a desperation attack that heals her, like, massively. So, yeah, we're in better shape than you might think. Now, right here, Discord's tower, it's, uh, basically a solid block. There's no way to get in. Discord being Discord, forgot to put in a door, or maybe did so intentionally. So, we can't do anything with that right now, so we only have a couple choices of what we can do. One of them is going straight up north, and or the town that's up there, and the other is to go over to the north uh, east. And in fact, go a couple directions once we get over there, but I want to go straight up north. As well as fight a few random encounters along the way if I can, including against the Gilomantis and the Mesosaur. Actually, Gilomantis has a lot of HP. And it's otherwise we can fire, so I do want to hit you with Fyra. I don't know if that's going to be enough to kill him, though. Not quite. That one hit with my physical attack should be enough, though. He hits pretty hard, so I do want to prioritize him over the uh, Mesosaur there. He's otherwise a pretty mm, unimpressive enemy for the most part. Especially if I do that. Nice. Ooh, wow, 1,000 experience points. How close am I to leveling up? Oh, wow, I should... Actually, I probably should do that at least once before I get too much further. It would be pretty nice if I did. So... Yeah, you know what? Let's show off a few more enemies if I can. I think we can... We might be able to get into different fights based on the dirt or the grass, I think. So, yeah, let's get into fighting the dirt here. Well, there's a, two new enemies. The Osprey, which is this guy. I would rather hit you first because... Oh, can't quite kill you. He is weak to ice. I don't think the Vine Wolf is. But yeah, let's hit you both with Zara. Eek. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a ribbon equipped from last time. Make sure you have either that or the Peace Ring equipped. Oh, you're not weak to ice. Because otherwise, uh, there's a lot of enemies for quite a while that can equip or inflict the discorded status on you. So you're gonna want to keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, just make sure you have one or the other and you'll be good. Now let's see, there is one other, well actually there's two other enemies around here that I can fight. Let's see if I can meet at least one of them. Okay, fine. Let's just get rid of you first. Because I know I can do that with that. And then just hit you hard. Oh, I can one-shot you. How about that? Okay, never mind. No, well, there you go. I mean, you're not guaranteed to do that, but it's there. Come on, where are those other two? Come on, where are you, dude? I know you're in the dirt. I know you are. There he is, the Chitanid. He's weak to, well, he was weak to lightning in version 1.0, but he is immune to that now, so he's weak to ice, as, as well as just about everything else around here, so let's hit him with Bazaara. Even multi-target, that should be enough because he has really bad magic defense, but be aware he might cast Wind Blast on you if you hit him with magic. That should be enough. Oh, yeah. So, bye. He's probably gonna die anyway. Drat it! Why are you still Sonic Booming me? There's no one to Sonic Boom. 
So I think he has like a 33% chance of doing that, unfortunately. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, that's all the new enemies around here. So yeah, I want to just go ahead and get a level up with Cadence real quick and be right back. Good enough, good enough for right now. That'll work. And Hoover! Like I said, this place is purely optional. We don't have to come here right now, but I want to. Oh, Kelpie Trench. It's above the ground, or water now, huh? Oh, that's cool. Anyway, let's uh, just, hey. What the? Thanks for going through me, dude. What's going on? Hey, talk to me, talk, take, take. The house? Talk to, hey. Would you guys stop running around like ninnies and talk to me? Your princess demands it. Oh, what did you do? Oh, oh yeah? I guess so, but yeah, if you need the relic he's talking about, either keep the ribbon equipped, or buy this true form pin, which is the only other thing you can protect you from petrify. But I have the ribbon, and also I want to equip another relic here. I want to equip a garnet ring, or if you want, you can equip a uh, red chaperon. Doesn't shouldn't be too big of an issue, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. And before I go any further, I do want to go up to the end because even though it seems ridiculous to sleep in a tragedy, we're not actually gonna sleep because this guy can just heal us for free with, uh, I guess, magic he must have gotten from the Empire, I would presume. There are some equipment shops over there, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Hey, get out of my way! Jeez, but anyway, hey, Luna! Joyous day! Yeah, let's get in there! Oh. We could do it together. Well, anyway. Yeah, she can't hold it forever. She can, actually, for about six minutes, I believe, is the timer, which is actually plenty of time to get in and get out. This also should be plenty of time for me to level up, not just once, but twice, which is kind of my goal here. <laughs> Getting to level 28, that is. There's various enemies in here, including the scorpions. I'm not too worried about them. Do not use fire against them. They are immune to that, if I'm not mistaken. So use Bazaara. They don't have a lot of HP, only I think like 500 or something like that. So this should be enough to one-shot them. Yeah, there we go. Awesome, Cadence gained a level. Now I can really one-shot them. Aurora ring, awesome. Yeah, nothing in any of the buckets anywhere as far as I know. Another bio blade, I don't really care. I'll probably just sell that. Oh, more of you guys. Uh, yeah, let's just blizzard the guys behind me and hit the other guy. I'm not actually worried about Cadence's HP at the moment because of her desperation attack, which I, I did just say earlier, right? She has a healing ability with it. It also can cure status effects, including, I think, the countdown status there, if I'm not mistaken. So, if he hits me once more... No, not quite low enough. That's fine. Alright, fine, let's just heal up on our own. Uh, yeah, just apples. I've got so many of those. Don't need to worry too much. Pearl ring, also don't care. I'll probably just sell the one I have, even. Almost got there to the monster in a box! So you don't have to open this treasure, but I want to. Stucker, which is the reason I have the Garnet Rings, because these guys can cast Fyra, as you can see. But they are also weak to fire for some reason, so... They used to be called PM Stalker in the original. I'm not sure what the PM stands for. But I guess Tricky C decided that the PM was unnecessary, so... There you go. Awesome. There were lots of experience, too. See, and then up here, we got a cider cup. I might need that. I'm actually very low on those right now, despite it. I'm surprised it's not like a cider mug. Smelling salt? Just sell that. I don't care. There is one more new enemy we can meet around here. Come with me if you want to live! Literally. Monster in a box, because, well, they're here twice for 
some reason, but yeah, it, pointless if you have the fire elemental protection. Okay, fine, so they can do things that can hurt me, but even so, even so. Boom. What's my MP looking like right now? I could have actually absorbed some from them. Ooh, lots of, uh... Ooh, 13... Yeah, I am low. Let's go ahead and use Cider Cup, or Mug, then. And close, close. I should be able to get that by the time I get out of here. So, awesome. Deathbringer, another one if you need it. Where's the Gloom Shell? There's one more new enemy we could meet around here. Come on, now. Oh, really, guys? Dang it. Okay, fine. Let's, uh, blizzard you guys. Ow. Okay, actually, that that's fortunate, because you're gonna come really close to killing me. Are you gonna kill me, dude? Don't do anything too rash, please. Uh-oh. Uh... Dude? Oh, crud. Fine. Anyway... That's the first time that's ever happened. I was actually expecting to be able to get my healing off there, but no. Anyway. Okay, uh, can we use our desperation attack? Thank you. Get full healing there. I don't know if that's life three or not. I haven't actually tested that. And it got rid of the status effect there too. How about that? Ha, <laughs> cool. how well this works out. Ooh, ow. That still really hurts, but works a little bit better, I think, I suppose. I mean, I've got the red chaperon and the back guard on this time. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Sheesh. Anyway, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, actually, I should uh, heal myself just in case I meet more of those guys. Still haven't met that freaking shell enemy. Doom shell or gloom shell, whatever it was called. However, I'm still getting out of here with plenty of time and experience to spare there. Oh, I'm gonna get a level up in the next battle. Sweet. Is it those guys, finally? Anyway, if you do meet those guys, then just use Fyra on them as well. It works just fine. They don't really look like they'd be weak to fire, but they are. I can't believe I got killed! It's like the first time that's ever happened. Kind of funny how she brings that one mare away right there. Ooh. And if you lost those treasures, you can't get them. Are we gonna get the kid back? Huh, I could have sworn there was a scene or something to do with that, but... Okay. Or not really a scene, but I could have sworn that he was actually in here right now. I like what Sabin says in the original. Did you think a little thing like the end of the world was enough to do me in? <laughs> so Luna says something kind of similar. Yeah, it looks like we're not all alone. <laughs> now I know everyone's alive for sure. Let's go find them. Interestingly enough, Luna is a purely optional character for some reason, but I definitely want to bring her along. Because that'll make the next part of the game much, much easier. Because, oh man, would it be hard with just Cadence. But this also goes into the other reason that I wanted uh, Cadence with me. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah, in the floating continent, because she is the level average when she's by herself. So now, Luna's at level 28, and she's got her new ability, Chakra, which has kind of an odd little thing, down R, up L, Y, but it's very useful at this point. It's different from the way it was in version 1.0. Now it can't grants regen instead of the safe and shell spells, though I think it actually heals a little bit more than it did as well. But it's pretty good still. And then we got Fire Dance, up, down, left, right. Remember that because that's actually going to be useful this time around, unlike version 1.0 where it was way too weak to matter. 
So, let's see. I am actually going to... Yeah, let's go ahead and equip you first. Let's give you the hero ring. And this is where you're going to want the peace ring. So, again, if you haven't bought three of them yet, do so. Let's see. And I'm actually going to give her... Where is it? The flame claw. You could give her the Silver Claw as well, it doesn't really matter, and then reinforce bit the Earth Patrol to get uh, more HP there. You, How'd you get in the back row? Huh. That's odd. Anyway. <laughs> and Cadence, otherwise, I want to give the Light Shoe and the Ribbon. Give you Twin Aurora Rings, that'll be nice and powerful right for right now. That would actually be stronger than anything Luna can do at the moment either, but the Fire Element is fine, and then Chaperons, boost that evasion as much as possible. I'm gonna need it. You're welcome. Give us a prize. Ah. Anyway, taking a slightly better look. Oh. Actually, I can't think of anything that attacks with Petrify, but, well, there it is. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of different things we could buy. This, I think yeah, this was the only place you could get wing shoes in version 1.0, but there's another place you can get them now, so. Yeah, everything else, yeah, could be useful. But while we're here, there is a whole bunch of stuff that I want to sell now that, uh, yeah, we're in the world of ruin. Let's see, get rid of that smelling soul. I'm never gonna use that muffin. As sad as it may be. I do not need the curb knife anymore. It's not going to sell for much. Dirt dagger. Yeah, I'm never going to use that again. Keep all these, I suppose. I probably could sell the wind cutter, but I'll keep it for now just in case. Definitely want to keep hold on to those death ringers there. Bio blades. Yeah, I don't really care, but I'll keep them for the time being. Wing Pike, I'm never going to use that. Silver Lances, I do want to keep at least one for the time being, so. Let's see, Frost Rod, Bio Rod, I'm never going to use the Bio Rod. Yeah, Thunder Rod and Flame Rod, I could sell those, it wouldn't really matter, but I'll keep them just in case. Fine Brush, I'll have a better brush by the time I ever get Sweetie Belle back. See, full moons, don't need those anymore. Card trick, I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that just because it's very unique that it can cast confusion. I'm surprised it got cut off there. Isn't that longer? I mean, Iron Claw, I still wanna keep that Silver Claw there. I can sell all of my Thick Splints now because we have, uh, well, we will have Butter stuff by the time I get anyone who could even equip the Thick Splints anyway. Let's see, reinforce bit. I don't need more than the one that I've got on Luna right now, so I can sell those. Rune bits, I only need one. Let's see, Gale Chaperons, I only need two, so I can sell one of them right now. Yellow Chaperon, probably won't ever need that, but I'll keep it anyway. Wing Saddle, Earth Patrol. Keep the Denshi Dress and the Plane Dress, and might as well keep the Earth Wing Saddle and Mystic Slongs. It could be useful. Theoretically, you could sell the Auto Crossbow, Bio Blaster, and Flash, and Chainsaw at this point. They are pretty much never going to be useful again, but I'll keep them all the same. Flame Edge, I'll keep those because those can still be useful later. I only ended up using one of my Bolt Edges, but uh, I'm never going to need them again until like the final dungeon. And then, by then, I'm going to have other things I want to do, so I don't need the Bolt Edges anymore. See, make sure you keep most of this stuff still. We have plenty of uses for all of them. I could sell, I should probably sell all of my Zephyr Capes. I don't think I ever use these again, but I'll keep them just in case. Let's see, pull. And then, let's see, we got the Pearl Ring there. Do not care, I'm just gonna sell those. And I could theoretically sell one of my Bat Guards, but I'll keep them for now. And definitely hold on to those White Capes for later, or the True Form Pin, because we are going to need those. So yeah, that's a lot of stuff, a lot of money, and it's still not enough for what I'm ultimately... Oh, not down that way. What I'm ultimately going to need. We've got some other equipment shops over here. Why are you just purely looking at the... the wall, even though I'm trying to talk to you? 
Oh, yeah? Actually, it's more like to the west of here, but okay. Ah. Uh, why are you, like, staring at this house? Okay. We've got equipment shops. Nothing really interesting in the armor shop that we couldn't already buy. I'm not really sure why they have the steel saddle here, but they do. It's slightly stronger than the armor we've got, but if you are going to buy armor and get the silver saddle, that would be pretty good, but reinforced bit plus earth patrol, that's the way to go for Luna at the moment. I actually could theoretically sell one or even two of my silver splints at the moment too, but eh, I'll keep them for now. See, here in the weapon shop, we have full moons, and we have the morning star, which is uh, stronger than the full moon by only 10 points, and that's the only thing better about it. And otherwise, it's weaker than the aurora rings. I could buy one of these for Luna, but I'm just going to keep her with a flame splint for, or flame claw for now, because we'll be able to get better stuff later. Ah, Appaloosa, huh? Hey, maybe we should head there. What is your problem? Oh. I don't know what that family did, but he pissed them, or they pissed him off. Really? Starlight Village? Oh. That's sad. Anyway, let's go ahead and use the inn, even though I think it's, yeah, pretty darn expensive, but oh well. So it is, so it is. Yeah, we've got quite the journey ahead of us next time on Let's Play Billy Fantasy 6 version 2.0. Arrivederci!